Russia said on Tuesday it was pulling back some of its forces near the Ukraine border to their bases in what would be the first major step towards de-escalation in weeks of crisis with the West. The move came amid an intense diplomatic effort to avert a feared Russian invasion of its pro-Western neighbor and after Moscow amassed more than 100,000 troops near Ukraine's borders. The crisis, the worst between Russia and the West since the end of the Cold War, reached a peak this week with US officials warning that a full-scale invasion, including an assault on the capital Kyiv, was possible within days. In the morning on Tuesday, the Russian Defense Ministry's spokesman said that some forces deployed near Ukraine had completed their exercises and were packing up to leave. Units of the southern and western military districts having completed their tasks have already begun loading onto rail and road transport and today they will begin moving to their military garrisons. The ministry's chief spokesman Igor Konashenko told Russian news agencies on Tuesday. It was not immediately clear how many units were involved and what impact the withdrawals would have on the overall number of troops surrounding Ukraine. But it was the first announcement of a Russian drawdown in weeks. If Western officials confirm that Moscow is taking steps to reduce its forces, it would ease fears of a major war in Europe that have been rising for weeks. Washington said Russia had strengthened its forces on the Ukrainian border over the weekend, but US officials insisted that diplomacy continues to be viable. US President Joe Biden and British Prime Minister Boris Johnson agreed in a call late Monday that a crucial window for diplomacy remained. The leaders emphasized that any further incursion into Ukraine would result in a protracted crisis for Russia with far-reaching damage for both Russia and the world, a Downing Street spokesman said. Amid some claims from US officials that an invasion was being prepared for Wednesday, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky meanwhile declared it a unity day, urging Ukrainians to take the streets in peaceful demonstrations of solidarity. News Desk, Global.